This is just another in a beautiful series of events highlighting the exceptional nature of this university. I want to welcome everyone here this morning to the groundbreaking for the Collaborative Energy Complex here in the UND College of Engineering and MIND. This represents the partnership between the university, the public sector, and the private sector. Our state-run, state-managed, challenged grant, which matches $2 of every gift to the university with one in state support, is a big contributor to what we are going to celebrate groundbreaking for today. You're looking at $10 million that individuals and companies have stood up and provided to make this happen. And that happens because they believe in what we're doing in this state and because we're making it happen in this state. And that's not true everywhere. What's happening here is changing the economy of our state and region and of the nation and changing global politics and economics. This facility will provide students and faculty a creative environment to learn, reflect, and experiment. It will be a national hub where they can collaborate and discover amazing new things. You can count on me coming back to hear all about them. Sincerely, Heidi Heitkamp, United States Senator. And the idea that we can use the peaceful tools of energy development and replace the weapons of war to create a more stable, world, that's a blessing on top of a blessing. That's a high calling. I love the fact that this institution of learning, of knowledge, this knowledge factory that we sit on right here, can solve the problems of the world. I would like to ask uh, representatives from each of the seven academic units in the College of Engineering and Mines to come forward and put together our building facade in demonstration of the collaborative spirit that will make CEC unique. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the new front door to the College of Engineering and Mines. Uh, North Dakota engineer is some of the most talented people in the world and if you let them learn uh, geology skills and other engineering skills and financial how to read a balance sheet I mean that's that's a head start on most engineering schools in the world. President Kelly and more recently Provost De Lorenzo had done an outstanding job of providing positive leadership for the University of North Dakota and fostering a culture of dynamic growth. Within that leadership and that in that in that dynamic environment Dean Irwini and his team have really flourished. You're, you're seeing a, a rock star of deans when you deal with, we deal with Dean Irwini. S Corporation committed $5 million over five years to support the UND Collaborative Energy Complex. With a goal of advancing petroleum engineering at the University of North Dakota, this lasting and meaningful contribution recognizes our core values and commitment to the future of the oil and gas industry here in this state. The building will be on the cutting edge of energy research, education, and continued industry and university collaborations. It is a perfect symbol for an exceptional University of North Dakota and will stand as proof of what can be accomplished when alumni and friends, corporations, and the state all work together towards a common goal. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Kopp, one of our students driving the championship SAE Formula car here at the University of North Dakota, and he is delivering the last little bit of dirt. <laughs> Up down on the end, you'll see our robotics program, the robotics, uh, the Lunabot, designed for lunar landing and exploration on other planetary uh, you can see it's dumping a little bit of dirt down here on the end as well. One, two, three. I'm so happy today, happy for the students, happy for the faculty, because this building is not just a building. It's about people, it's about collaboration, it's about making a difference, it's about building bridges with industry. So I'm so happy that we'll be able to do all of the above. Uh, with this building. So we are creating a new environment that will really enrich 
the educational and research experience, not only for the students, but also for the faculty and for prospective students as well.